हेलो स्टूडेंट टुडे आई विल प्रोवाइड एक्सरसाइज थ्री थ्री डिस्टिंग्विश बिटवीन वेस्टर्न घाट एंड ईस्टर्न घाट वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट क्वेश्चन वेस्टर्न घाट एंड ईस्टर्न घाट Okay. Now, I know the answer. Sim. Make a column. Western dot. Eastern dot. Western dot. Eastern dot. The first point, the western heart mark the western boundaries, western boundaries. of deccan plateau here first point the eastern ghat mark the eastern boundary so here we write boundary eastern boundary of the country Second point, they are continuous they are continuous and can be crossed is only yeah. they are discontinuous and irregular and by rivers draining like a lal to the western coast along the arabian sea
at daylight parallel to the eastern coast along the Bay of Bengal. Next point. The highest peak is Anayamudi with a height of 1695 meter The highest peak is Mahindragiri with a height of The average, the average height is 1600 meter. The average height is 600 meters. Okay, I will repeat this. Western Ghat and Eastern Ghat, as you know, Western Ghat and Eastern Ghat situated the two sides of Deccan Plateau and they are having lots of differences. So now, the first one, the Western Ghat marks the Western boundary of the Deccan Plateau. The Eastern Ghat marks the Eastern boundary of the Deccan Plateau. They are continuous and can be crossed through passes only. They are discontinuous and irregular and dissected by river drain the Bay of Bengal. They lie parallel to the western coast along the Arabian Sea. They lie parallel to the eastern coast along the Bay of Bengal. The highest peak is Anayudhi with a height of 1695 meter. The highest peak of Mahindragiri is with a height of 1501 meter. The average height of western Ghat 1600 meter. The average height of Eastern Ghat is only 600. So, student, up to this you will write, and next classes I will provide the rest of this chapter. Thank you.